Hello, my name is John Sauls. I work with Vision ICS. We're a small uh, integration company focusing just on vision. One of the things that I do with my customers before I start off uh, any application is I'll do what I call a paper evaluation, and this is the spreadsheet that I use to do that. Uh, this is something that's available on our website that if you'd like to download it and use it with your customers, uh, feel free. Uh, basically what I come in here is I, f I come into the spreadsheet and I fill in the yellow cells. Uh, some of this is just for my information. So, uh, for example, I might say what I'm doing here in this case is I'm going to do an assembly inspection. I'll come down to the secondary application, and this is typical. There's usually more than one thing the vision's doing. I'm going to do guidance. Um, so, in this case, the customer is inspecting a product to make sure that everything is, is placed on it correctly, assembled correctly, and then after they're done doing that, they're going to tell a robot where to come and pick it up and place it on the line. Um, I have a list of cameras here that we can select from. Uh, these are just cameras that I've worked with in the past, uh, have some experience with. And uh, so for example, I might say I'm using a Cognix Insight high resolution camera. I do not have Pat Max on this one. Um, if, if there's cameras that you'd like to add to this, feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to add them. Um, next thing I do is I look at the size of the field of view. Uh, this is not typically exactly the width of your product or exactly the size of your product. Uh, you want to add a little play. So if, if you know, I had a four inch wide product, I might want to say that my field of view is five inch, which gives me a little bit of movement left and right. And then I look at what the height that it's going to give me. Well, it turns out my product is not 4.1 inches tall, it's four and a half tall. So I might come in here and say, well, then my field of view needs to be 6.5 inches. So then I get a, a half inch of play above and below and, and a little more than that left and right. Uh, and then I can come in here and fill in the units. My units are inches. And again, I'm just filling in all the yellow cells. Um, and then it generates for me a bunch of numbers to tell me, you know, what are the expected accuracies of my tool. So these are just kind of the raw numbers. Um, a single pixel would be two thousandths uh, wide. Uh, with the Pat Find tool for general guidance, I would expect to find a quarter of a pixel. So that gives me uh, six ten thousandths or seven ten thousandths. Uh, typically what I do then with the customer for their specification purposes, I want to be ten times as accurate as what their, their expectations are on their specification. So I would tell the customer in this case that uh, I could measure to within uh, six thousandths. For this field of view. Now maybe the customer would say, hey, that's not good enough. We need to go better. So then I could come up here and say, well, we're going to take the super high resolution with Pat Max. And now I can measure it to within six ten thousandths. Um, I can also go the other direction. I could say, well, you know, I don't really need the super high resolution camera. I can come down here to the uh, just standard high res, 1600 by 1200. And uh, I don't really need Pat Max. So now I can measure find a part to within ten thousandths of an inch. Um, so we can really quickly you know run through the numbers and find out which camera we really need, um, what kind of, of resolution we can expect. Um, with the inspections uh, we can come in here to the the size of a defect. That rule is three by three. It has to be three pixels by three pixels before we measure it. So I, in this case, I would want to say the defect has to be a tenth of an inch by a tenth of an inch or 0.112 inches by 0.12 inches. Um, the gauging, uh, that's quarter of a pixel on each of the sides. So it's a quarter of a pixel for one edge tool, quarter pixel for the other edge tool. Overall, that works out to half a pixel. Um, for OCR, OCV, the minimum height of the, the font is 20 pixels. So I would want to see in this case, uh, I actually would like to see 40 pixels high. So that's the recommended specification. If you go a lot smaller than 20 pixels high, you're going to start having a lot of false reads. Um, if you go a lot bigger than 40 pixels high, then you're going to see uh, the performance start to lag. It's going to take longer for it to process. Uh, but you can obviously go larger and smaller. Um, and then for barcodes, uh, if I'm reading a barcode, a 2D or 1D barcode, I want the minimum size of a line or a space to be 3 pixels wide. So that's where I get this 0.12, uh, 0 0.012 inches. So I would want ten thousandths of an inch for for each line and or twelve thousandths of an inch for each line and for each space um, 
and then what I do over here is I'd actually fill in the customer specification what are their expectations uh, if it's an existing specification in a lot of cases there is no existing specification it's just as good as I can do so uh, that's where we get into the recommended specification uh, then are the tolerances acceptable well yes they are um, and then when can you get uh, good and bad products what I really look for from customers I try to get the good products the bad products and the marginals and the marginals are the most important uh, usually a vision system doesn't have much trouble with really really good products and really really bad products it's the ones that are sort of good or sort of bad or, or in, in between those two um, that really determine you know how successful the vision system is going to be so those are the ones I really want to get my hands on um, we also do a justification for our customers. I do have a video on that as well if you'd like to check that out on YouTube. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like to use the spreadsheet, please feel free to go to our website, www.vision-ics.com, and download it and uh, make use for it, of it as you see fit. Again, if there's uh, any changes you'd like to see on the spreadsheet or suggestions, things that I can add, uh, please feel free to let me know and I'll try to add them. Thank you.